just come off HMS Bulwark, one of the UK's landing platform docks or major amphibious platforms. Bulwark can take two companies worth of Marines and put them ashore to conduct high-end military operations or anything else all the way down to humanitarian operations ashore and everything in between. And the purpose of Bulwark is a ship that demonstrates great flexibility in support of UK interests. At a time with a defence review looking for adaptable contributions, Bulwark is just the kind of ship that can do that. One of the key messages to come out of today was the tension between retaining sufficient high-end capability in terms of delivering warfighting effect ashore in the form of the Royal Marines and their high-end capability as we see in Afghanistan today, but also the wider contribution that those Marines can deliver, for example, providing humanitarian and non-combatant evacuation support operations as we may need to see applied in Libya and, for example, also in, in Japan. And the tension today that we face post SDSR, while the Navy is trying to move on positively from a difficult review, is how one can continue to do the entire spectrum of tasks, but with much, much, much reduced assets and a smaller capability. In some, a ship cannot be in two places at once. In a ship like Bulwark, with the, with the two Royal Marines companies embarked on board, one has the capacity both to deliver high-end warfighting effect but also significant humanitarian support as is required by other government departments and international agencies. The challenge for the Navy today though is to be able to have sufficient capacity to do both at the same time if they were required. It isn't clear that, that capacity necessarily exists with the Navy that is smaller in the wake of the defence.